In this video, we're going to be going over how to re-image or factory reset a Hanwha WRN device. To do this, we're going to need to have an 8GB USB flash drive, and we're going to need to download both the image file and a program called Rufus, which is going to allow us to take that image file and burn it onto that USB drive. Then we're going to take that USB drive, plug it into the WRN, and boot to that drive to put down the factory default up-to-date image, which has no wizard or configuration tool on it yet. Once that's finished, we'll go ahead and put the brand new WRN configuration tool down. The image file has a default password on it of 4321, which we also recommend you change before you put this out into a deployment. The first application we need to download is called Rufus. You can get this from rufus.ie on your internet browser. I've also included a link in the description here or below. The second application that we're going to need to download is actually just the image file itself, which also the link should be right below this video. Now that we've downloaded all the files that we need, plug in that 8 gigabyte or larger USB drive and open up the Rufus.exe program. It might have a number in the, in the program name. Just go ahead and run that program. When it comes up, it's going to have a list here in one page, and at the very top, it should automatically detect that USB drive in a dropdown. If there's a different one there, hit that dropdown and select the correct one. Next, we need to click on the Select button and browse to where we put that uh, image file when we downloaded it before. Select that image file, and then at the bottom of the screen, tell it to create. It's going to prompt you and ask you which of these two things to do. Always select the second one, not the one that says recommended, the one that says DD. You're going to want to burn with that. Otherwise, you'll run into a problem during the burn. Go ahead and select OK to this, which is just indicating that everything on that drive is going to disappear beforehand. So if you want to just check it before, make sure you don't have any files on there, and just browse to that USB flash drive, make sure there's nothing important on there. Remove the USB drive from your system, take it over to your WRN device, and make sure you turn the WRN device off first. With the WRN off, plug the USB drive into one of the ports along with a keyboard in another port. Turn on the device and strike the F5 key over and over again until you get the boot menu. From that boot menu, select the USB drive. I can't give you the exact name because it's going to give you the exact model, the name of the drive that the BIOS sees, but find the USB drive that says it's the same size as the one that you put in and select that and tell it to run. Now this is going to take a little while for it to run through. I'm going to give you a, a few examples of the screens, what it's going to look like here. Uh, as you can see, it's just kind of booting through, running through its process. After a little while, it will stop a couple of times and ask you to say yes or no. You're going to have to type the letter Y and press enter a couple of times. Now you also will see some errors fly by the screen throughout this process. Don't worry, those are normal. It just has to do with the imaging software that is being used to lay down the files. So I'll let this run through on the screen. Once we're done with that, the next step is to get the WRN configuration file. So boot this back up normally after it's done, and it'll welcome you with a WAVE account and ask you for a password. That password is going to be 4321, and whenever we're done, all said and done, we recommend that you change that in the Ubuntu operating system.
Next, we're going to download and install the WRN configuration tool. This tool is what turns on the DHCP server on the WRN for your cameras. If you plan to do static IPs for all of your cameras instead of DHCP, you can skip this step. The next step is to download and install the WRN configuration tool. You can download it from the link below. Do so from the WRN device itself. Once you have the download, extract the folder to your desktop on the WRN. Now inside that folder, there are two files. You don't need to worry about the .sh file. That is for if you're replacing the old wizard with the current. The only thing you have to worry about is this .deb file. So double click on that and let that run. Uh, it's going to open up what's called the application manager. And you're just going to need to click on the install button at the top and enter in the wave password. And again, that is by default 4321. And that's it. It's completely installed like a factory default as if you just got a fresh one out of the box. Now, if you wanted to really just be sure, you can go into your applications and make sure that the WRN configuration tool is down there. Just one last step before you go, you have to change your administrator password on this device. So here's how you do that. Click on the button in the corner and type in user, click on the users, click on the user that you want to change, and then click on the password. And that's it for this video. If you need help setting this up from this point forward, check out my other video on how to deploy a WRN from out of the box to deployed.